Hi everybody, this is Quinn the Princess. And Kodka98. And we are taking a break from our Becoming Female readings to bring you Brooding Love by Aaron of the Cullen Clan. Now, I was recently kind of depressed because I thought I was out of bad fanfiction to read when lo and behold, I come... Lo- <laughs> <laughs> this on TV tropes and apparently it's a really big deal because it has a bunch of like expanded fan fictions attached to it apparently it's, it's a, a big, big deal. deal but um anyway I I wanted to do my own reading so I haven't even read the story or listened to any readings yet because I want this to be totally blind and off the you know straight as it is every reaction you hear is gonna be like our first reaction to the story and so it, it could go either way. It could be really funny, or it could just be really... Really bad. Really bad. Well, it's going to be bad, but I'm just saying I... Well, on our part. Yeah. But, um, all right, here we go. Okay. Brooding Love by Erin of the Cullen Clan. Chapter 1. Genesis. Genesis! I walked into the room, and he was sitting over by the corner of my English class, perfectly sitting by the corner in a desk. I thought he was a god. Erin, no, not god god, because I love god and that's blasphemy, so fugos in ours. And if you don't know who god is, <clears throat> get the fuck out of here. here. <laughs> because he looked so darn supernatural. No, I'm sorry. He looks so darn hot, like that guy who used to be on Smallville before he got fat, so now I watch Supernatural because Fat Man is always in my head. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez, poor Supergirl. Oh I giggled when he looked at Ma, and Edwards looked away, seeming to snarlingly. <laughs> seeming to snarlingly. I flapped my long brown hair, hopping to get his attention. I have long brown hair that reaches my <laughs> my beat off <laughs> in a smooth long thing with a hair clip inside. <laughs> I have hotter eyeliner with lots of blue mascara because it goes with moth eyes, you see, because they are blue. And I'm wearing a loose wit blouse. Blows. With a cute leather belt and a long black skirt because it's sexa. But not worry. And it's a sin to be a whore, Tunny's Er Mary Magdalene, but she's dead anyway. <laughs> Edward looked back at me and locked away again. It was rude, and I farrowed my brow confusedly at him. You know, spelled like a church (laughs) hymn. But decided, but he's sexa, so I'll let him get away with it. The Lord teaches us to forgive. (laughs) That he does. But I, I can't really forgive this grammar. I walked over with every eye on the room on me, because I'm so darned. See, I thought there was a typo at first, but... <laughs> She's, like, trying to combine darn and damn the same word, so darn. it's like darn. H-O-T. I've been told this many times, so I know it's true, and I sit on his desk, and he looks up, and he has bronze eyes that are sexy in a brooding way. Wait, she's sitting on his desk? That's a little intrusive. I'd be a little bit pissed if someone came and sat on my desk. Aaron. Foreshadowing! He is a broody. Oh, I'm sorry, he is broody. But if you haven't read the box, you'd already know that. He looks up to me. No, I don't think he does. (laughs) And I look down to him locking up to me. (laughs) Department of Redundancy Department. He then speaks in a quiet, brooding voice. Who are you? (laughs) He asks. And why are you on my desk? 
So I winks at him and tell him he's cute, but then class starts and I sit down and watch him. He is so hot and I decide I want to be his boyfriend. <laughs> his boyfriend? Really? <laughs> he, she, she's really big into like... No I, homo. Yeah, she's like, no homo, no homo, but you want to be his boyfriend, alright. He looks at me and turns away again. So that was hilarious and I'm gonna sign off for now and I'll be bringing you another chapter of this wonderful piece of tripe later on. Goodbye. Goodbye.